The Parties, 1984, a series of free time programs by Canadian political parties. Now, speaking on behalf of the Rhinoceros Party is National Campaign Director Charlie McKenzie. Good evening, my fellow Canadians and mes chers amis Nordiques. Thank you for inviting me into your homes this evening to deliver this very important address to the nation. Here it is. Recently, the Party of Rhinoceros commissioned me to chair the Ronald McDonald Task Force with a mandate to pose three vital questions to our 1.3 million young unemployed people, the yuppies. Should we repeal the law of gravity? Should sex, drugs, and rock and roll be developed as natural resources? And last, but certainly not least, do they have any spare change? The response to the first question was an emphatic no. We shouldn't repeal the law of gravity until they get their feet on the ground and at least one foot in the door. As for the second question, whoever said the state has no business in the bedrooms of the nation didn't have an open mind, he had holes in his head. We have a plan to develop sex as a natural resource. However, primetime television is hardly the appropriate forum to lay it out. But to give you some idea of where we're heading, the Washington-based Democratic National Policy Institute provided us this chart. A worker having one sexual contact per week creates a rather limp $15 productivity per hour, while his or her luckier co-worker with eight such contacts per week generates a whopping $105 worth of productivity per hour. Sex, as you can see, is more than just good, clean fun. It's sound economics as well. For full details on how we'll introduce Canadians to the guaranteed annual orgasm and eliminate frustration, violence, prostitution, and pornography, simply send $5 to Fuddle Can, care of this address. Drugs remain a controversial topic, of course, especially on the prairies where folks get up in the morning to grow groceries, which remain such a vital part of our nation's food supply. We discovered, however, that nearly 4 million Canadians are currently spending $2 billion a year on the same stuff cows eat, while their government spends $150 million a year trying to stop them. To find out how we can save $150 million of your tax dollars while generating $2 billion in new government revenue, send $5 to Potcan, care of this address. The development of rock and roll is already well underway, but government help is urgently needed to meet growing market demands. Fortunately, the politics of dancing leads us straight to the heart of rock and roll, and Canadians realize that men without hats are men at work. It takes 250 people to stage one rock concert. Security, graphics, t merchandising, technicians, etc. If we develop one such concert per week in each of our 282 federal ridings, we create 70,500 new jobs. And a good rock band needs six persons, and they should be supplemented by at least two backup bands. There's an additional 5,078 new jobs for a total of 75,578 new jobs for young Canadians. And that's just the beginning. Add to that the various subsidiary industries, guitar manufacturers or, or high-tech enterprises and so forth. We could have Friday night videos seven nights a week. As for our national deficit, I'm confident that with one or two Boy Georges and a few dozen Michael Jacksons, we could eliminate the national debt in a matter of months. The final question the Ronald McDonald Task Force asked young unemployed Canadians was, of course, do you have any spare change? No, they said, but we'd sure like some. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the very best reason to vote Rhino on September 4th, for the change. That was a program by the Rhinoceros Party. The Party's 1984 is a series of programs by the federal political parties presented in time made available by the CBC. CBC, 